Now what takes the longest of anything else? Oh, Richard, two spinning! How much? Two! I can't do it. What was the time? Go, will you go away? Okay. Now we got a hook on that up on the bottom of the steering column. The steering column is... Uh, Careful, you're scratching it all up! You're scratching it all up! <laughs> Don't scratch the car. You're oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It's a hole up over here. I got her going. Get that other car on her. <laughs> okay, next thing will be the radiator in the bonnet. Yeah. And when the radiator goes on, it don't take long for it to crank usually. Although I have seen them pull a wire out of something or something and it wouldn't crank at all. But that's not often. Next thing going is... Uh-oh. You got it? It's the only... Burns lots of gas and it's hard to crank. Carburetor's busted halfway through and the engine misses and hits on two. It's three years old. It'll be four in the spring. It has shock absorbers and everything. And the radiator, it's busted, sure does leak. The differentials are so dry you can hear them squeak. There's ten spokes and this and the front's all bent. The top's blowed off. Why, it ain't worth a cent. It has lots of speed and runs like a goose. Get a burn either gas or tobacco juice. Tires are all off. It's been run on the rim. That's a real good old Ford for the shape it's in. That's my ditty about a Ford. I like that in 1947 coming to Florida with Daddy the first time. So now there's a whole lot to see here. If you tell you, tell your friends and neighbors about it at home, if you liked it, and if you didn't like it, tell them you liked it anyway. One more little I won't hurt them. Okay. There's a whole lot to see here. I got the building up under the Model T in the front of it and the outhouse. But there's some good things here to see. And we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna do it Friday and Saturday. We're gonna do it one more time today at three o'clock. So this is station Poop Poopy Doop broadcasting through BVDs. We're over and out.